I'm going to show you actually how to fit an inner roof. Now the purpose of an inner roof is to give you a thermal insulation. Condensation actually happens and there's nothing that you can do about it, it's a natural thing. Condensation is caused when warm air meets cold air and that's what actually causes it. By fitting an inner roof it actually absorbs some of the moisture and alleviates some of the problem and it's quite easy to fit. Now we do inner roofs for two and a half meter awnings, three meter awnings and all our winter porches. Let me show you how to fit it. Right, the first thing you actually have to do is to fit these hooks onto the inner profile of the awning. It's a time consuming job, but once you've actually done it, you can actually leave the hooks onto the rail. So you only do this job once. You've got two options. You can either go to the beginning of the profile, and I'll show you, and you can slide them all the way around, which is very time consuming, or you can cut part of the rail away with some scissors so it makes life a lot easier for you. Let me show you how. You can either slide them along the rail like so. As you can see, I've got a fix on in the way. It's best to do, actually do this before you put the awning up so you don't have that problem. Or you can actually cut the profile, a section out for them to slide along there, which is, our, which is what I'm gonna show you how to do of wire snippers or scissors all we need to do is cut a three meter three centimeter section out of this rail here okay and now slide the hooks along the profile to the position that you need now that i've actually put all the hooks into place evenly along the rail it is now time to fit the inner roof Find the centre seam of the inner roof, which is here. Starting in the middle roof pole, with, we clip these loops onto the hooks that I've actually fitted. As you can see, as I'm going along, there are certain loops we miss out. We don't hook into every single loop. And now that we've come to the auxiliary roof pole, if we just hook just past it and take the opportunity while we're here to tie this to the roof pole. A simple bow is all that's required and once we've done this carry on carry along doing the rest of the hooks as approaching each pole if you tie the inner roof as we go along for a simple bow we're now halfway of erecting the inner roof you will notice that some of the poles aren't in the ideal position. This is because obviously I had to fit on the ground and when you put your awning up, the poles won't always be in the ideal position. But you just use the best tape closest to the poles once you've erected them. We've only got a few more ties to do and when we've done the, the, the ties, we then move forward to the front by clipping these hooks over the front poles. Hooking these clips onto the cross members at the front. And again, one side at a time. I just simply just clip on. A little tip to make life a little bit easier if we unzip the panel. making it a little bit easier to get around the pole. Simply clip along the poles. As this inner roof does two size awnings, this particular inner roof does a size 950 and 975, you don't always get a perfect fit here. So with the extra tapes here, if you then take them back to the roof pole and tie them, and a simple bow. To 
form. Okay. Now that the inner roof is fitted, okay, gives you a nice cozy feel. There's also an option with a zip here. If you wish, you can run your cable for your light down here for it to come out of the zip so that you can actually have a light inside your awning. <laughs>